Hello, hello, happy Thursday. This is Bill with Barlow's Corner. You know what it is, 101. I've already left the office, gone to my first client, left them. Uh, customer I've done some work for before. They're, uh, I guess, in their late 60s, early 70s, maybe even. Really nice people. Uh, the husband, I know, must take medication and it hardens his stool not to be disgusted. So when he flushed the bowl, it came It didn't go over, but it came up. Once someone sees their toilet come up, every other flush after that is always in their mind, never the same. Oh my God, both toilets are clogged. The wife didn't see anything. I went and I flushed the bowls, threw paper in it, flushed the bowls, flushed the bowls again, threw more paper in it, flushed the bowls, flushed them without paper, flushed more paper, flushed them without paper, flushed more paper, filled up the laundry, let it go out, filled up the laundry, let it go out. I said, listen, I said, I'm not even going to give you the price out of the book to cable each one. I'm going to give you half of it for the first one, and the second one, I'll just make a number up that's not even not even half. So the woman says, okay. She goes, wow, um, is that what it needs? I said, I'm going to say it this way. I will do whatever makes you happy. I will cable these toilets all day long. I can do it for nothing. And I'm not going to get anything out. I'd be happy to do it if it'll make you feel comfortable. She said, Bill, will it help? No, it will not. She said, then don't worry about it. She said, I didn't see it. Just he did. And then he asked, he goes, well, I saw it come up and go down. I understand you did. And I didn't have the heart to say it to him. I didn't ask him, hey, how much paper do you use? Because, well, I only peed. That time you peed. But an hour before that, you probably went number two. I didn't say it. It's very hard to say this to some people. It's embarrassing for them. But generally, people in their 70s have a lot of medication, and that medication hardens the stool, and that stool will clog most toilets. And a lot of times, it'll work itself out. I thought I was getting pulled over. A lot of times, it'll work itself out. Not every time, but a lot of times it will. On a newer toilet, it will. 2008, American Standard. You, you, your chances are, are pretty good. So she said, thank you for telling me the truth. I said, now, I'm going to leave you my number. Because it cost you $49 to have me come out here anyway. Um, if something happens and you're not too sure because you don't see it and everything works fine for you, call me and let me and describe to me what one of you saw or both of you saw and I will tell you if it is worth it for me to come out. I promise you I will tell you the truth. She said, Bill, I know you will because you've told me the truth every time you come over. You tell me what I need things. You tell me what I don't need things. Said, well, I don't want I don't want you to just do something because you feel that you should or you have to. That's not why I do this kind of work. I do it to help people. I collect money to do it, but I do it to help people. If I'm going to do something to collect money, it's not going to help. But it'll make you sleep better at night. I'll collect the money and do it. But I'm going to let you know up front, it's not going to do anything to make you sleep better at night. I know they appreciated it. I didn't make any money on it. I made $7. It's 15% of the $49. $7 change. Oh. I gotta see if my office texted me in. Go back to the shop. She hasn't texted me yet. God, you're gonna ride around my bumper, huh? My, my I, I love when people ride on the quarter panel. I have no idea what that fucking habit is. I'm not gonna pass you. I'm not gonna go back behind you. I'm gonna ride right on your left tire or your right tire, depending on the side of the road they're on. So you can't make, get into the left or get into the right. You're either gonna have to speed up or stop short and then get behind me. And the thing is, when you speed up, they speed up. You have to stop short. Middle of the road, stop short. Let me get behind you. Because you're not going to let me over. Once you get behind them, they're gone. I haven't received the coils yet from my truck. And uh, I need them bad. This coil is really, really, really acting up. I'm going to have to do an oil change. Anyway, I had to do one anyway. But I'm going to have to do one now, especially because all the carbon that's getting built up from this misfire. Uh, the, plug might, the plug shouldn't be that bad, I wouldn't think. Because it's not even getting fired on. 
but um, the power loss is just tremendous. I bit my tongue, and it's driving me up a wall. Probably should just fill up. Oh uh, yeah, we do have power. The lights back on. Ooh. Had no power at the office this morning. We have the trucks. We have the truck pulled into the front, and we, we ran plugs off the inverter for the office. Jesse, me boy. Oh, that's not Jesse. That's the truck I pulled it from. What Ken go? Ken's gone already. Huh. All right. Uh, this is Bill with Harlow's Corner One on One. Up right back. I'm not gonna keep you going though. And for the people who, uh, who ask, hey, why do you talk to yourself? I'm not talking to myself, moron. I'm talking to you people out there, you fucking idiot.